Huge reed beds dominated the central Brew Valley. Farmers in the valley made wooden trackways to help them cross the wetlands. The oldest wooden trackway in Britain was made here. Neolithic farmers made it to join the Polden Hills to the island of West Hay. It ran for two kilometres through the reed swamp. It was made by driving in pairs of hazel stakes to form V-shaped cradles. These cradles supported split oak and ash walkway planks. The trackway is named the Sweet Track after Ray Sweet who found it whilst cutting a ditch in 1970. Much of it still survives in Shapwick Heath National Nature Reserve, where a replica can be walked on. Tree ring dating of the planks has shown that it was built in early spring 3806 BC. It was repaired in 3800 BC but was probably only used for 9 to 12 years. Votive offerings were made in the water beside the track. The most precious of these was a jadeite axe. It was quarried in the Alps and took several hundred years to reach the marshes. It had no haft and was left as an offering to the gods of the wetlands. Other offerings included beautiful pottery bowls, wooden troughs, flint axes, bows, arrows and yew pins. A small wooden axe found beside the track is the earliest toy known from Britain. The offerings show that the Sweet Track is the oldest ritual monument known from the UK. On the dryland, the Neolithic farmers were making the first clearances of the forest for their crops and livestock. The wild forest was dominated by huge oak, ash, elm and lime trees. These trees were used to make longhouses and the wooden trackways. The trees were felled with stone axes, and crops of barley and wheat were planted around the stumps, lasting for 10 to 20 years before the settlement moved on. <laughs>